Welcome to Xinhua Life. I'm Gong Hongjin with Xinhua News Agency. So have you ever heard of neutrinos? Do you know what neutrinos are? They are the elementary particles that constitute the building block of the matter world. And they're everywhere, from deep space to the sun, earth, and even within our bodies. So in South China's Guangdong province, a huge neutrino lab is taking shape under the ground to study these fascinating particles. And scientists believe that they may hold a key to unlock this, uh, the secrets of the universe while challenging the law of physics as we know them. And this is Jiangmen Underground Neutrino Observatory. And we're about to visit its core experiment hall today. And I heard it was built 700 meters underground and we'll have to take a small train to get there. Let's go and take a look. I just got changed and I'm ready to go inside this core experiment hall and this is where all the magic happens and I'm ready to bring you with an exclusive interview with one of the brilliant minds behind this groundbreaking project. Let's go. Hello. 
Hello. Uh, nice. nice to meet you. Can you briefly introduce yeah, nice yourself? Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm Jinlin Xu from Ahead. Yeah. I'm uh, a senior, senior engineer. So I, I believe this huge spherical structure in front mm. of us is the core uh, detector, right? To detect the neutrinos yes. event. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so what exactly is neutrinos? Can you like uh, explain in simple words first? Uh, neutrino is a um, very basic uh, uh, particle in some model in physics. And uh, it's a uh, neutral, uh, it's no charge. and. Uh, the mass is very, very, very little. Uh, until now, we don't know its absolute mass. And um, uh, for neutrino, it's everywhere. We, we know little, but it's everywhere. Uh, when here, um, uh, solids, uh, a billion neutrino comes, uh, goes through our body. Yeah. So it's in the air? Yes, it's uh, everywhere in the universe and in the earth, in our body. Uh, but we uh, don't know. Uh, it can't uh, uh, interact with our body, it's no harm. And, uh, um, uh, but only very little neutrino interact with the atom. Uh, so uh, our goal is to detect uh, the neutrino from the reactor. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So what's the significance of this experiment? Why is it important to study neutrinos? Uh, because, uh, as you know, uh, neutrinos are everywhere. We don't know it's, um, uh, uh, it's a basic uh, uh, parameter like, uh, like uh, what is mass. And the uh, neutrino, um, after the dec decades of the study, uh, we know the neutrino can oscillation. It's a new, um, a new phenomenon uh, in the physics. Uh, it's beyond the standard model, and uh, uh, so we need to learn more, and then we can to use it in the future. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and why is the experiment hall built here, like 700 meters down from the Earth's surface? Why does it have to be built here? Uh, yeah. Um, because uh, in the surface of the Earth, uh, there are many cosmic rays comes. Uh, cosmic ray is a high energy particle. It uh, can interfere with uh, our neutrino detection. So uh, we need to uh, dig the hole to under underground. Uh, the, more, the more deep, the uh, better. Uh, and uh, then it can uh, uh, can reduce the cosmic ray rate uh, uh, about, uh, you know, here is the underground uh, 700 meter and uh, uh, the cosmic ray rate uh, was uh, depressed uh, about uh, 50, uh, fi uh, 50 thousand times. So uh, it can improve our neutrino uh, detect uh, sensitivity. So why, why is the hall picked in Jiangmen city? I mean, there's uh, a lot of other places and mountains around here. Ah, uh, yes, uh, neutrino everywhere. But uh, why here? Uh, you know, uh, uh, near here, there, ha there have uh, Yangjiang and uh, Taishan nuclear power plant. Uh -huh. uh, uh, according to the theory, uh, for the um, uh, neutrino oscillation, the maximum uh -huh. uh, is about uh, 50 to 60 kilometers. Uh, so uh, from Yangjiang and uh, Taishan, we can um, uh, connect. And uh, uh, so uh, th this uh, detector uh, is about uh, 53 uh, kilometers to Yangjiang and uh, Taishan. So we find it here. Uh, yeah. And uh, what is the main goal of this experiment? And what's need to be discovered? What's the like remaining mysteries or questions that is about the neutrinos? Uh, the main goal is uh, um, to t to detect the mass hierarchy of the neutrino. You know, the, the neutrino have um, three kind of flavor: the um, uh, electron neutrino, and the muon neutrino, and the tau neutrino. Um, uh, but we didn't know. Uh, which one is the um, lightest and which one is the uh, uh, heaviest. 
So uh, our goal to uh, make make it clear which one is light, which is uh, um, heavy. Yeah. Okay, I see. Uh, so how how does this experiment works? Like I see, there's a like a structure photo yeah. here. Can you explain? Ah uh, yeah. Uh, th this uh, picture is uh, to show uh, the total uh, kind of a de detector. And uh, first, uh, you can see uh, we have a um, uh, cylinder, cylinder water pool, mm -hmm. um, cylindrical water pool. Uh, and uh, then it will be filled with uh, um, uh, uh, acrylic ball, a acrylic ball. shell ball. And uh, then the liquid scintillator will fill the, into, the, uh, into this ball. Uh, there are about uh, uh, 20,000 ton uh, liquid scintillator. So uh, liquid scintillator is our uh, neutrino detector target. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, the neutrino from from the reactor is a uh, fly to here, and then to produce a little bit flash light, and then it can be detected by the uh, we call the, the PNT. PNT is a multi flare tubes. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, can be detector. Then we can, we we know yes, that's a neutrino comes, um, and um, uh, and uh, for the outside water pool, uh, you can see this a uh, muon detector. That means, uh, and uh, uh, this is uh, we call the top tracker. Top. It uh, although we are underground, but uh, they still have some uh, cosmically comes. And uh, we need we need to know uh, how it uh, where it comes is uh, here and uh, like this uh, mm -hmm. comes so we can uh, detect uh, the its track. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for the uh, this, this water pool will feel, will be filled uh, about um, um, three hundred and fifty ton um, pure water. Sure. Yeah, the, for the pure water it. Uh, can detect the also the cosmic ray, uh, and uh, um, there are some some PMTs, uh, um point to outside, uh, and also it can uh, reduce the radioactivity from the material. You know, uh, the the rock have many radioactivity, so uh, we can use the pure water to. Uh, uh, to print, go to the detector. So, so yeah. it's like a protective part. Yes, a protective part, yes. And uh, also, they have some thermic uh, film uh, around uh, this ball. Um, uh, this is uh, to increase um, our, uh, uh, increase the chilinical light. The cosmic ray comes, comes and uh, it can produce the chilinical light in the water pool. And um, uh, uh, you can see there's uh, um, not uh, so many PMTs pointed to out. Uh, so we need uh, uh, the Tyvek film to help uh, to detect more of the light. Uh, and also we have the um, Earth mag uh, magnetic field. Uh, you can see this uh, red line. Uh -huh. so, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, for the uh, Earth magnet, uh, magnetic uh, is uh, pointed to here, and then we can produce an uh, uh, offset uh, 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 Earth magnet and uh, to uh, protect our PMT uh, uh, to let the PMT work normally. So the yellow point is PMT. Yes, right? yes, um. yes. Uh, and uh, this is a PMT uh, point out, and this is also the PMT. Um, on the inside, yeah. So as I understand, uh, so this uh, spherical yes. tube, the mm -hmm. structure will be covered once uh, the project is finished, right? So uh, we're yes. not able to see it from here. Uh, yes, now we can see uh, the structure of the inside, but uh, after it finished, the uh, reconstruction, we will have a cover to uh -huh. cover it. So and. Uh, uh, yes, we, we can't see it. We only can see the uh, top tracker. Oh, yeah, uh, because uh, uh, as you know, this is uh, pure water. Uh, pure water is uh, uh, more pure than our drink. Pure water. Yes, yes. And um, 
uh, in our air that have uh, um, oxygen. So we need to uh, divide the, the, the ox oxygen comes. So uh, we will uh, use a cover to cover it and then fill some uh, um, uh, nitrogen gas. Yeah. So uh, does the water needs to be recycled once it's in use? Uh, yes, yes. Well, uh, uh, they have uh, a yes, water recycling system uh -huh. um, uh, because uh, we need to um, keep the water very, very pure. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we can see that, that some worker is down here. Uh, do you know yeah. what they are doing up there? Uh, yeah, uh, the, the water system is in another uh, part, and uh, you can see there are some very small tubes. Uh -huh. uh, uh, there are four small tubes. Um, two is for the liquid sanitizer filling, and uh, two for the water filling. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the workers, are they like, uh, putting the PMTs on the... Uh, no, water just put it into this uh, water pool. Oh, water yeah. pool. Yeah. Okay. So which step is the project on? Like how many uh, days are there left to finish this project? Uh, it's uh, about uh, need, uh, one year. <laughs> Another yeah. one year? Um, one year more, yes, yes. Um, uh, the main structure will be finished at uh, the end of this year. The end of this and then we need to fill the water. Uh, fill the water is uh, need about uh, one month. Uh -huh. uh, uh, and then uh, to fill the liquid liter. Liquid liter. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, when we fill the water, uh, we can do in the detection. Mm -hmm. So the, the earliest detection will be at the end of this year. And then um, uh, after uh, we need a half a year to fill the liquid scintillator. Mm -hmm. So um, if you calculate, uh, it's uh, about uh, one year. Uh, the, so in the year 2024, the, maybe in uh, 2024, yeah. it will be in uh, full use. Yes, okay. fully, fully operation. Okay. Yeah. Let's maybe take a look around here. Be careful. Here are many okay. bellows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what, what are these lines for? Uh, this is, um, uh, uh, you can see there are many PMTs uh -huh. to detect uh, the signal. And then uh, it will be uh, digitalized uh, in the water pool. And then the signal, um, will be tra uh, transport to the electrical room. Uh -huh. So um, you can see th there, there have about um, uh, 7,000 balloons from the, our detector. Uh -huh. So uh, for each PMT, the signal uh, transports uh, through the, this line, yes. So there's a lot of work needs to be done. Uh, yes, there. yes. Uh, currently, there are only uh, Several hundred uh, balloons. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after end of this year, uh, the, the, this uh, here will be full full of the balloons. Um, yeah. It's very huge. Um, <laughs> these are like the de devices to detect the like the neutrino events, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, the, the experiment results comes from. Uh, we call this uh, electro room. Uh -huh. uh, it's um, to deal the um, uh, signal and uh, uh, data acquisition uh -huh. and then to trust to Beijing and the uh, 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 outer of the, uh, uh, the foreign country. Yeah. So the scientists, um, they, they doesn't work from here, right? They can uh, yeah. work remotely just yeah, to get remotely the data. Yeah, remotely to get the data, do the data analysis. Oh, I see. Yeah.
So are these like uh, techniques also all developed by China, or are there other countries contribute? Oh, to it's uh, um, some parts is uh, from China, uh, and some part from the uh, foreign country, mm -hmm. uh, like um, uh, some from Italy and uh, France uh -huh. and uh, Germany. Yeah. So there are lots of like international cooperation between experts. Uh, yes. To for uh, the final success of this project. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so like, uh, how advanced is this lab, and uh, like compared to other labs in the world? Um, I, I you know this is a. Um, uh, this is the highest uh, precision to detect the neutrino. Uh -huh. um, uh, like uh, you can see, we have uh, uh, the highest uh, uh, quantum uh, quantum efficiency of the PMT, uh -huh. and the PMT coverage is uh, uh, also highest. Uh -huh. And um, uh, also for the liquid simulator, um, we have the. Uh, most pure uh, liquid simulator. Mm -hmm. uh, the attenuation length is, can reach uh, more than 20 meters uh, uh, in the past uh, and also in the uh, other experiments in the world. There's uh, no pure, uh, no like this kind of pure liquid simulator. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. And uh, I, I heard that uh, this spherical cube is also the largest in the world, is that correct? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, this is also the largest uh, liquid simulator detector. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, so how many years does it take for us to get into this stage? Um, uh, you mean from here? Or? Uh, uh, from the very start, to uh, dig uh, a from hole. Start? The dig a hole is uh, almost uh, eight years, almost right? Almost eight years. Yeah, yeah, yes. So that's yeah. a lot of work. Yes. Uh, at the beginning, it's uh, just to uh, it's a dig the hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dig the tunnel is uh, need um, several years to dig a tunnel. You know, there are many underground water problem, um, and uh, for begin to to uh, start uh, this structure. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's uh, last year, um, the beginning of, of last year, and the uh, first to build the stainless structure, mm -hmm. and then to fill, uh, you can see we have, they are filling the PMT. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the PMT, uh, I heard a little story about it. Uh, so uh, originally, we planned to purchase it from Japan. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> but now, like, we developed it by our own and it saved a lot of money. Ah, uh, yes. Um, uh, you know, uh, in the past, uh, we, we didn't uh, have, uh, we never have the, you know, this uh, 20 inch PMTs. Uh -huh. uh, so, so it's the we core, never do it. We core, did. core technology here, is it? Uh, yes, it need uh, many technology to, to study, to develop. And uh, uh, in the past, uh, we never do it. Uh, you know, uh, only Japan can can produce this kind of PMT. So the the price is uh, very expensive, uh, and uh, uh, we we need to develop our own technology, and also uh, we need to save money. So uh, uh, I have. Uh, our institute and uh, 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 also cooperate with a company. Is uh, this company in Nanjing, and also other institutes uh, to develop the, um, the this kind of PMT. Uh, and finally, <laughs> we are lucky. We we success. <laughs> yeah. And it saved a lot of money. Uh, yes, yes. It's very impressive. Thank you, thank you yeah. for your introduction. You. I learned a lot. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so uh, thanks to doctor's uh, introduction that we have learned a lot of other like, information about this uh, detector. 
and uh, I was just told that Juno is expected to, this project is expected to be completed in the year of 2024, and by then it will be one of the world's premier uh, neutrino observatories, and it will provide that valuable uh, insights into different fields of uh, physics studies, and as a large-scale uh, scientific facilities in China, it is part of the country's effort uh, to develop uh, advanced scientific facilities and for research purposes. And I believe it can propel us to further into the realm of scientific understandings and studies. And I'm super looking forward to it. Okay, so we're about to wrap up today's uh, live. And thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.